I'm Bradford Wilson here with the SCGA in Chino, California. I get to play alongside a Tropicana Golf Club and Barbershop. I'm excited to get into it. Jimmy, where you at? Hello, Man. Bradford. How are you? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Good to see you too. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you for having me. We out in Chino, California. What are we doing here? This is our first stop in our Spring Series Tournament. This particular tournament kicks off the Spring Series, which goes for three months, April, May, and June. At the end of June, we have a finale where every winner from every tournament goes and plays in that finale. All expenses paid. Wow. You get your food, you get your drink, you get your golf, you get the experience of playing in a championship, yeah. all for free. So today we're gonna to decide the first three winners of the Spring Series. So everything's gonna play lateral. What that means is that if it goes out of bounds, if it goes into the water, if it goes into a house, if it goes onto the street, if it goes into the driving range, you drive to where it went out, you drop, add a stroke, and keep going. Hey man, give me a hug, bro. Is it? Brad Oden. Bradford, yeah. Dick, nice to meet you, bro. Uh, I see that. Get out. Two C's. Two C's. Double thick up. Just ate a medium pizza last night, the whole damn thing to myself. Okay. It was excellent. So you, you walk uh, and talk. Let's talk. Oh, oh yeah. Do it. Good vibes. Thick vibes. Thick vibes. Love it. I Doesn't love matter it. if it's windy or not, it's going to get thick. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Play well, bro. Good meeting you. God bless. Ah, I love it. <laughs> you got to look good, feel good, play good. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Yeah, you just got to look like a baller, dog. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's my, you got, you got my boy's slick. business right here. I got I got it out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sponsored and sh hit 120, whatever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Everybody's got to play like a pro, you know what I mean? Oh, God. <laughs> you know that day you're not supposed to come back, buddy. That dude came out of nowhere. <laughs> Somebody that is new to Southern California, huge golfer, mm -hmm. and is looking for a group to get into, why would you recommend Tropicana? It has a lot of everything. Um, it has people who are serious about the game, people who are not. But it's more fun than anything else. So um, you get to meet new people every time. Yeah. So every tournament, new guys you play with, you, you make relationships, you make friendships, you make, it's a good thing. It feels like family. It feels like I just, like I've known these guys all my life, you know what I mean? So I come in, I, I play, everyone's a welcoming, it's, it's a good place to be. I just joined up and it's just been, it's been money. I, you know, talk to Jimmy all the time, talk to Fink, talk to Thick. It's just, you know, they're pretty cool people. Par five, 569 yards. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing before you started this golf club? I've been working in, in real estate management in an office for 18 years. And I just said, I, I need a little bit of a creative outlet mm -hmm. and my hands were a little bit tied in, in what I was doing and I said you know I can do something better than what's out there and I just built something that I would use yeah and this is what I wanted I just wanted more people to play golf with I wanted more people that I could call and be like I got Friday free you want to play yeah and and it's working because Apparently there's a lot of people that are in my same shoes. Now I have 400 guys that are just ready to play at all times and it's the greatest thing I could ever imagine. I mean, what do we, what do we got here? I don't, I don't know much about cigars. Uh, you got macanudos and you got some noblesas. Wow. There you go. Gang. <laughs> Macanudo man now. I get out to play about once a week, but I also try to stay married, so about once a week is about all I can do right now. This is my first tournament, man. Some of my friends have been on my ass to get on it. Finally decided to take the plunge. I'm not gonna regret one minute of it. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Who would you say your biggest style is? Mine? Yeah. Um, I mean, Palmer, uh, actually Norman. Okay. Yeah. So you fit right in at Tropicana. Uh, I try. I don't know if anyone really fits in. I think that's why we all kind of get along because everyone does their own thing. Got you. I love it. It's celebrated too. Right. I like it. I mean, you out here making par putts with a cigar in, and the crowd goes wild. Yeah. Well, that's what it's about. Oh my God. What is it? Windy out here? I hit my normal shot. Everything worked out fine. About 250 yards right. What can you tell us about the the kind of members that gravitate toward Tropicana?
So I think, I think membership demographic comes from the head of household, meaning they look at me and, and they say, okay, he, he, he looks like me, uh, he speaks like me, mm-hmm. and, and I can relate to him. And I have a full scope. I have attorneys, I have golf pros, and I got guys with face tattoos, yeah, yeah. you know? And I kind of camouflage myself to, to fit into all those groups. Yeah. And I make everybody feel comfortable. That's what's up. Pushed it into the rough over here. I did outdrive Bradford after he striped one. Not, not bragging or anything. However, I do have 69 yards, which is like my perfect yardage. Go with a 64 degree wedge. Release. Release. Stay close. Oh. I mean, I can't do it any better than that. <laughs> yeah. Help. Help me. Help. Help. <laughs> you see, I knew it was impossible to shank a putter. That's oh, bad. Man. I, well, I had to watch you the whole I time, know. that's I, why. I was in your head. I was in your head a little bit. <laughs> Whoa! That ball is in orbit right now. It's <laughs> receiving six satellite signals from Mars. It's sick. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he hit the stick! You literally hit the stick on your third shot. That, that could have dropped in. And then I would have had to make that putt. See, look, it's all about like little things that are chance related that add up. I love it. It bro, keeps the game exciting. Right? Right. Bro, that was so sick. That was, fun. That was so much fun. You're Appreciate the man. Appreciate you, man. Like you said, you got 400 people. That's, yeah. I mean, that's no small feat. How does right. that feel when you hear that back? Do you ever zoom out and look at it from the 30,000 foot view and say, look at what I built? Like, this no, is, this I, is I incredible. I don't. I don't look at that and I don't. I'm not like aiming for a number. Mm -hmm. I just want everybody to have someone to play with at all times. And if that means 5,000, we'll get to 5,000. And it means 405, it's 405. I don't care. I just want the the comfort knowing that, you know, Jack or or Rudy or Hector or, or Brad has somebody to play with at all times. Well, I got somebody now. You, you said my name, so let's <laughs> play some golf, dog. <laughs> the fellas out here, the, the energy is high, the, the positivity is high. I've been handed a cigar and, and been offered to be relit already. Like, these guys are so friendly, so giving, so, so kind. And the playlist, I, got, I heard Hard Knock Life on well, Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Hard Knock Life by Jay-Z is already playing and my cigar is lit. I can't ask for better vibes. <laughs> I mean, that's what golf is really about, right? Having fun, meeting new people, especially like an SCGA event. I yeah. Mean, you just want to meet a new golf homie. That's it. We can do that out here. And um, ne- and we're because of this, you and I are going to go play yes, we are. some other time. Yeah. A real full 18. Right. Really, you know, getting out and meeting more people. I mean, I think that's kind of like his, Jimmy's goal and I think that's exactly what we're all trying to do is it gives us a chance just not to play with the same group, you know? It's nice to kind of change things up and, and play and meet new people along the way. And you know, you're building friendships out here and ah, that's the best part, you know? Everybody's pretty friendly. Oh, I don't well, think I've met man, one. I my balls back there, by the way. Your ball? Yeah, I remember. Oh yeah. That's oh yeah, I remember my balls over here, so. <laughs> I mean, you started in June 2020. Your club is one of the most popular at the SCGA. Everybody's talking about you. You know, you got the you got the branding on point. I just want everybody that has ever been hesitant about being a member somewhere or playing at country clubs, which that's a real thing. Like people are really nervous about going to a country club and play. But if I can grab them by the hand and be like, hey, we're going to go play this country club today. I'll be your guy. Yeah. That's my most important thing. And that's happening. You know, these guys are playing, you know, exclusive places and and being comfortable doing it with their friends. Yeah. And I don't think that that's a normal thing. If you could talk to 16-year-old Jimmy walking this golf course today, what do you think you and him would talk about? I would give him a life plan. You can do anything you want to do. Just commit to what you think is important. 
and other people most likely are looking for that same thing. Yes, sir. What a putt. What a putt. <laughs> Appreciate you. Hey, hey. Couldn't could have done without I'm you. Almost, I'm almost, almost always here. <laughs> what club are you part of? I currently don't have a home. Oh so my God. I might be looking. SCGA, fire this man. <laughs> <laughs> TropicanaGolfShop.com. We'd love to have you, brother. Appreciate Anytime. You, man. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> Tropicana, the membership is strong. They love what is going on out here. Uh, sounds like the spring series is gonna be lit. And I appreciate Tropicana for having me. Chino, you've been windy, but it's been fun. I got a little wind burn. Take care of that with some chapstick.